Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Dredge. If you remember last time we were playing this game, we managed to pretty much complete the entirety of Gale Cliffs here. We, you know, fought the serpent a little bit, we blew up some stuff and we re, -re, -re what the heck? Reunited uh, a pair of siblings. Is that what you call it? A pair of siblings? Anyways, uh, we have pretty much explored the entirety of Gale Cliffs, and while I was off stream, I also took the opportunity to do a little bit more exploration here. So yeah, we are pretty much good to go. I've also made a couple of upgrades to the boat. As you see, we are on day 60 now. I think we left off at like day 40 last time. So it's been a, it's been a couple days since I last uh, recorded on stream for you guys. But if we take a look here, we do have the new upgrades to the hull, as well as this new Pull the versatile rod. Our fishing speed is up to 286%. And of course, I did get the lights. So pretty much everything is, I think, maxed out as much as it can be for where we're at right now. Fully upgraded all the upgrades here. We also managed to get a little bit more research done. So I am currently going for, you know, the new engines here. We've made a decent bit of progress. That's what I want to say. We do have the rusted music box in our inventory. And I think now is the perfect opportunity for us to to go over to the collector and see what he wants. Shall we take a look here? You know, last time we came here, we did get the uh, haste ability, if you see on the bottom left. Maybe we'll get another ability here. Maybe he'll give us a fishing rod to allow us to catch other types of fish. So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You drag the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Uh, yes I did? Ah, excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. Future return? Is he gonna give us teleportation? He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly as if thrown high by a wave closes the book and turns his uh, I can't read today his attention back to you now there are still more relics to find keep looking instantly return wait he actually gave us teleportation wait what the reef at stellar basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage search that area I'll mark a location where you can begin your search anything else what did you do to me bro <sighs> the book holds power from the deep I merely extended okay it's the same answer as last time manifest Use use of these words will induce a trance-like state. While in this state, time will pass in the blink of an eye. When it is over, you will find yourself here. As always, I caution against overusing this. Selectively and strategically utilize it when you need it most. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Why can't you search for these yourself? The ocean no longer wishes to cooperate. As the waves are unsafe for me, you will be my surrogate. What are you doing with these relics? Collecting them, of course. An investment for times to come. He is sus. Okay, well, looks like we have our next destination here. It is going to be Stellar Basin. This is a very interesting design. <laughs> it's just like four islands. It's like a it's like a summoning circle. You know what I mean? Seems like we have our next destination and we also have Manifest. Okay, let's see. How do we use this though? What do, what do you get from this? Teleport yourself back to where it all began. Okay, so say I go like over here, right? Oh, oh. Oh! It's on cooldown, but how long of a cooldown is it? <laughs> Have you guys seen like the Star Trek teleportation? What if it's like that, where it destroys you and re replicates you in a new place? So you're technically no longer the same person. What if that's why he's saying like, don't overuse it? All right, head over to Stellar Basin. I think we're going the right way. Just a little past these islands here. And yeah, we should be good to go. Oh! That's me, the ancient impact. Okay, uh, I think that's a new island, actually. Should we go check that out? Oof, it's already four, though. Okay, I'm going to make haste towards this docking point here. Uh, ooh. See a sunken ship? Oh, this is like a, this is like a tropical kind of island, yeah? And then I see a couple of docking points here. We could probably just make it over there anyway, so... Ooh, it's like a it's like a little beach town and it's like a reefs inside here. What kind of fish are there? 
Why, are, why is the water like blue? Do you guys see that? Also, what is that? Is that like a jellyfish? Music is kind of ominous. Can't lie. <laughs> also, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Uh, I think we could dock here though. Or not. Wait, this isn't a docking point. This is actually an abandoned... Oh. Oh. That's a little unsettling. Well, we'll just head over here then. Yikes. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no! No! <sighs> okay. Is this the docking point here? Oh, this must be it. This must be the trader. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. A research outpost. What the? Generator? An old generator sputters and ticks over. Okay. The laboratory is in ruins with equipment and research papers strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Cupboards? We check the cupboards. Ooh, research part. We'll take that. Uh, equipment on the table? There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hastily scrawled note. Not safe, expect retaliation eminently. Evacuating to fort. What the heck? On the floors. There are cracks in the base of the structure that grow to large gashes. Something extremely large and powerful created these holes. You slowly reach your arm into one. Research part. Of you. Seems like we are. What is that noise? Seems like we are at a research outpost. Two research parts here. Unfortunately, there's no place for us to store stuff, but I suppose we'll just rest and we can make our way over in the morning to another area. Okay, sorry, stream. I'll be right back. I don't know, this entire place just gives me like very unsettling vibes. It's like, it looks very cozy at first very welcoming but like look at this now like this does not look like a friendly place also the the background music is just a little creepy i can't lie well name of the game dredge for some more items i suppose we have broken spectacles so it seems like there's a lot of tra Ooh, bottle here 14th september 1927 I have not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. The ink runs from some lines here and they are ineligible. While most of what they hauled up was junk, they eventually came up with a large wooden casket. A hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, then to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. The page has been torn off here. Casket? Aww. What are we, are we looking for a casket here? Oh no, we're looking for a ring. X does mark the spot if you take a look here. I'm assuming that's probably where we're gonna find our ring, but... Hadal? Oh, what the? Oh, abyssal. So we need a different type of fishing rod to be able to explore here. Okay, you know what? Let's check this area out. Another bottle? Wait. Oh, whoa, look at those fish. They have red eyes, bro. We are engaged to be married. He sailed us out to the very center of Stellar Basin to see the lights. Isn't that where the X is? We talk for hours, something we have not done in such a long time. Waiting and hoping. Sometime past midnight as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said or what I said, but I know I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off of it. I'm not sure whether this is yesterday's day or today's, given that it can occurred at a conjunction of days. The ring in the middle of Stellar Basin, which coincidentally is what we're happening to search for. Could this be their wedding ring? This looks like some sort of fortress, old fortress here. This is where the researcher abandoned his outpost, I think. Maybe he will purchase some stuff off of us. Oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? I'm a fisherman. 
Yes, I thought you had the look, but a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. I need help collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin. That's where we camped last night, but it was attacked. <sighs> a large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. It now rests in the center of the basin. I fled here and have been making the making do as best as I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind. So now my research has come to a halt. Take a look at this list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. Aurora jellyfish, glowing octopus, and a firefly squid. Oh my god, we need the net to catch them. Oh my. No! We actually need the troll. I'm so sad. Well, tell me about yourself. Uh, I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological sciences at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year, or the year before, or the year before that. It's hard not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? You probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society, and then, well, I was posted here, by myself. I thought I would relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone, or at least a pet. Out here, it's just machines. Interesting. Uh, what sort of creature attacked you? Hmm. Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was huge, larger than any other marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I guess at some sort of octopus or squid? One of my research mess vessels was moored around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away in it while it was tearing apart the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. Damn, that's crazy. <sighs> now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgotten. I found these letters from my sister. She'd sent them to me w while I was studying before. Before she... The researcher is quiet for a moment and stares off to the side. Anyway, I kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turn up in my collection nets, my sampling tubes. They were letters I've never seen before, but they were her writing in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. That is very interesting. Well, she does not s collect fish or take fish, unfortunately, so maybe we might be able to fulfill one of these pursuits for her. Collect the samples. We need to help the researcher collect the samples. Glowing octopus, flyerfly squid, and aurora jellyfish. So we are in stellar basin, coastal shallow, and oceanic. Actually, actually I think it's only coastal and shallow. Oh, this might be the octopus, actually. It comes out at nighttime. This one's daytime. Seems like most of the fish here are daytime fish though. So I think that's good for us. Only thing is the octopus, which we will need to fish at night, but should be okay. So I, I don't have the proper rods to be collecting any of these things, right? Uh, Dredging spots, okay. Some sort of hammerhead shark maybe? Ooh, this thing is huge. Okay, shall we venture into the middle here? I'm gonna go check out this third outpost area, see if there's anything that we could potentially collect from- ooh, ooh, here we go. This could be one of the types of fish that she needs. Oh. Oh, my rod is broken! No! I thought I patched it! It's a coral grouper. Okay, it's not actually one of the ones she needs, but I very much need to head over there and get my things fit. What is that? Seaweed? Oh, not seaweed. It's a giant squid. Oh, oh. 
Okay, okay, okay. There is a giant squid just chilling in the middle here of, of the basin. That is, where did the, oh God, I'm lost. Uh, that's a big fish. I'm not even sure that's a fish. That's a, that's a, that's a big, that's a big thing. It's a kraken, bro, <laughs> actually. Oh my God, okay. Seems like the traveling merchant is still around the area. First things first, repair our ship. This one must be one of, it must be one of the ones we need to catch with the net. Okay, I see, I see. Ooh, 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 is that it? I think that might be it, at least one of them. Firefly squid, there it is, okay. That is, ooh, trophy specimen. Nice, and then we can return. Oh my God, it gets so dark. Oh, that must be the ring. Yep, there it is. Padal though. So we're definitely gonna have to collect some sort of new fishing rod before we can approach that area. I'll go ahead and sell the rest of these off here. $69. Nice. And then let's just go ahead and rest. Next order of business. What is this? Oh, I think this might be one of the other fish too. Barracuda. Okay. Not exactly, but close enough. Okay. Let's go drop this fish off before we do anything else. Of all the fish, bro. Of all the fish. Red snappers. This is like a very corally reef area. It's not a proper term, but... Here we go. This is one of them. Aurora jellyfish. This one, right? Coastal. It comes out at nighttime. Okay, this is the one that comes out at night. Oh, they all come out at night? Are you kidding me? But well, we will need the trawl for this, unfortunately. But this one we can catch with the rod, so. Okay, head back to the merchant, and then we will get the proper type of equipment we need installed. When it hits nighttime, we will go out and search for jellyfish, or the octopus, I forget. I think it's the octopus. Sell off this barracuda, and then it looks like I'll have to remove one of these in order to install the basic net trawl. Install the trawl. Unfortunately, that has taken a bit of a toll on our fishing speed, but let's go search for some uh, for some fish, shall we? Just need it to become nighttime, so I guess we'll take a loop around here. If anything, we could rest at the research outpost anyway. This town is still so spooky. Ooh, what's here? Oh, the black stones still does not respond to our touch. Oh, it looks like this area might be able to be broken through with explo- Oh, that must be refined metal. Okay, there's another spot of refined metal if we do need it here. Good to know. Uh, honestly, I should mark that. It's right here. Treasure. Thankfully, nothing actually comes out at night to- Oh, oh, there it is. That must be- Oh, oh, it exploded. Wait, what? Did I catch it? No? I'm so confused. What just happened? <laughs> Wait, that thing like actually exploded. No! How do I catch it? Wait, my lights aren't even on. I, I don't want to like run it over. No, okay, if I touch it, it like explodes, bro. Wait, there's gotta be a way. Is this even the Aurora jellyfish? It's gotta be it, right? I'm so confused. How do I catch this thing? Oh, I got it. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I guess that wasn't actually it. Uh, well, that's good to know. We're only missing one more now though, which is going to be the, this one. Okay, it comes out at night, Stellar Basin. Look for octopus, guys. I know there's a giant one in the middle, but that's not what we want here. Look for octopus. Oh, the squid, the kraken glows blue at night. Oh my gosh. Okay, but where's the octopus for real? Oh, here, here, here. This must be it. Yes, we've done it. Ooh, glowing octopus. There it is. I don't like that sound. All we need to do now is head over to the research outpost, right? All right, let's do this. Actually, I want to catch one of these. 
<gasps> Trophy octopus, yes. Ooh, this thing's massive. A foot long. Oh, there's something else here. Maybe an aberration? Oh, oh Medusa. Eight snapping mouths. That is, that is something. Oh, we also caught a, another Aurora jellyfish. Let us head towards the fort. We'll drop these off with the researcher and probably take a, take a break, yeah. Hello, here are your specimen. Octopus and jellyfish. Thank you, looks like you've caught all the surface specimen I need. But ah, yes, I do also need some from deeper down, but that's going to be a problem. Uh, I don't have the equipment to catch anything deeper anyway. I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect the samples, but while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully, I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want to be out on the reef at night. You just had me catch like literally every single night fish out there. What are you talking about? Well, okay. Unfortunately for us, she seems to not really care. So, oh, I forgot to rest. Oh, I can do that later. It's fine. Let's go retrieve some of the stuff that she needs us to get. Should be easy enough. As long as that Kraken just stays put. Good Kraken. Good Kraken. Okay, here we go. Laboratory, and then we want to look at the equipment table. Here it is, prototype parts. Nice. All right, and let's dip. I actually want to go back to the this area here, just to sell off some of the fish. That way. All right, I bet I can make it through. Let's do this. Come on, come on. We got this. Oh, it's not even moving. Wait, this thing don't want me. Huh? <laughs> Wait, this thing, this, this, it's just sitting there. Damn, not even the giant kraken wants me. That's crazy. We unfortunately can't seem to get the right type of equipment yet. What do you call it? To actually get the ring out. So we'll have to play along with the researcher for the time being, I suppose. <sighs> Sell off this fish. Honestly, do we even need the trawl still installed, man? How much? One more day left. Okay, you know what? I'm going to pick this thing up. Yeah. All right. We need to head back to the fort now. You know, I thought the music would be a lot more cheerful here, considering it's like an oasis type of thing, but very gloomy here. I wouldn't live here. I'll just say that much. <laughs> I have your parts. Excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some great improvements. Ooh, here we go to storage. Now I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it. I'm not sure. Mm. Connected to the research outpost generator, you'll have to return and re-engage it every few hours. But other than that, it's completely automated. Okay, repulsion machine. Take a look at the specimen. Remember, You'll want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve that equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Oh lord. Well, it's another fishing quest. Ooh, this must be the thing that we need to improve, right? You're telling me I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? I need nine? Wait, how do I get this? What? I, I, oh, oh. You've got to be kidding me, right? There's no way we can get this thing. Let's see what she needs us to catch, man. Oh my gosh, I hate it here. I'm just a lackey, man. I'm just a lackey. I just catch fish, man. I, I guess I am a fisherman, but still, come on. I think all of these can be caught with rods. Yeah, it seems like every single one of these can be caught with rods, so. At the very least, we have that going for us. There's no way we actually have to get every single research point in order to... Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, no, we only need one. Wait. How did that work? I'm so confused. What just happened? I mean, I guess. <laughs> also, no, I shouldn't have done that. I could have just spent three research points and gotten this one instead. Guys, I'm fumbling. I'm actually, I'm actually fumbling the bag right now. I'm sorry. You think we could possibly get two more research points somewhere? Man. 
This sucks. Okay, probably not right now, but at least we have what we need. You know what I mean? At least we have what we need. We can actually install some of these things. So uninstall this and this. And then it seems like we can just go over and purchase the new one. So let's head back to uh, here. Starlight Pontoon. a ring oh yep just a ring hey i mean at least this cracking glows that's that's the that's the nice thing i suppose it gives us a little bit of a warning before it uh attempts to obliterate us actually wait doesn't the don't you sell research parts wait you do wait i actually fumbled so badly then we we could have got oh, i'm upset all right you know what we're taking a detour. We will uh, be right back. All right, we should be able to get this research point here. <laughs> I, no, don't hit the, okay. I believe it is being sold around here. So please tell me you have a research point. Please tell me you have a research point. Oh, the lighthouse keeper is waiting for you at the dock. I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expense. Do you really think that's fine? Or that's wise? What's the problem? It feels like a bit tempting fate, does it not? Things are bad enough around here without your provocations. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. It's a little weird. <laughs> no, you don't sell it? <sighs> make haste. We must make it back to the, uh, to Gale Cliffs. We go. Okay, if, if she doesn't sell this research part, I'm going to be so upset. Like, actually so upset. I don't even have my thing installed to catch this. Okay, whatever. Please tell me. Please tell me she has it. Pray, chat, pray. Yes, she has two. Okay, we're saved. We're saved. Boom. Oh, thank God. Okay. Now we can buy it. There it is. $675. Casual investment for us. Don't worry. And then... Ooh, volcanic. I think we can also just install one of these, right? Mangrove coastal. There we go. And that should allow us to fish every single type of thing that we need here. And we have 314 fishing speed, which is not to flex or anything, but... Pretty nice, if I don't say so myself. Oh god, I have so many things here now. <laughs> I think it's time we return to, uh, here. How do we get there? Straight ahead. It'll be an overnight trip. Let's do this. Technically, we could rest, but nah. Rest is for the weak. The weak don't rest. Oh, whoa. Wait, what's happening here? Do you see that? Why is there, why are the winds converging here? Next to the dock is a derelict campsite. Strange symbols are scratched into the sand. Search the campsite. Extremely rough and worn sheet of fabric is collapsed at the base of some wooden supports. There's nothing remarkable. Hmm. That's a little bit weird, but okay. We'll just rest until the morning. Give us a little bit of daylight to work with here. And I think we go straight ahead here. Actually, this way. And we should be arriving at the place that we need to be at. Ooh, what's this? Hello. A slab of rock cuts above the waves. There are four large, powerful fish carved into its face. And the four great fissures running through the... Wait, what the? Is that a hammerhead shark? Oh, wait, no. That's a, that's a hammerhead. I mean, what is that? I actually don't know. It says four great powerful fish. I will mark this. It's an altar. I'm not sure what to do with it, but it's here. <laughs> All right, are you ready? It's time to catch some fish. I think, yes, abyssal. This is one of the ones we need. A loose jaw. That is, that is something. That is very creepy. Okay, we need angler fish, loose jaw, giant amp amphiphod, and snail fish. Oh, this must be another one of these. Here we go. This is the fang tooth. Okay, I don't think it's actually one of the ones we need, but. Oh, 
I see it. That must be the uh, the light fish. Angler fish, angler fish. Isn't that also the thing that's chasing us in Greater Mara? You guys remember the, uh, oh God, this thing is huge. Like that angler fish that was just acting as like a boat. Yeah, the giant angler fish. Hmm. Is that one of the ones we need? What's the, what's the last one? I think we have almost everything here. It is a snail fish. What the heck is a snail fish? It has to be that, right? Surely it's that. Do we really have to install it? Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. Here we go. Installing generator. Boom. Small object. Ooh, research part. I didn't have to buy that. All right, activate it. The repulsion machine hums and whirs to life. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots up from the top and an alarm starts beep blaring. Should keep the creature at bay for a time. Okay, let's go, let's go. This is our opportunity then. Oh yeah, the creature's gone. It actually worked. Uh, what is this? Is this the snailfish? Snailfish, we have everything. Okay, nice. And then honestly, while we're here, let's grab this. Come on. There it is, jewel encrusted band. I'm gonna fish more. I don't care. I'm getting everything. I'm being greedy. Giant amp. Oh, and we have. Okay, that is everything. That is everything. And we might as well dredge. Because why not? Watch it, like, not actually work, and this creature's about to just come up and obliterate me. <laughs> that would be uh, unfortunate. I thought it stopped for a second. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Back to the fortress. Actually. Trophy. Trophy fish. Nice. I want to catch the anomaly, too, though. Oh, seizing snailfish. This thing looks very creepy. Oh, I can't pass up this opportunity to dredge. It's the name of the game. What is this going to be? It is sapphire earrings. Okay. All right. That is mission success, I believe. We've pretty much done everything here. Sorry, octopus, jellyfish, whatever it is. Hello, I am back and I have everything that you need. Anglerfish, uh, snailfish. This is the loose jaw. And here is your giant amphipod. Amphipod? Amphipod? Amphipod. I have good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? What good news or bad news could you possibly have for us? Good news. Good news is that I've honed in on what's causing the abnor. Oh my god, not this word again. Abnormalities in the ecosystem. The bad news is that the samples you retrieve from the basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. This all points to one thing. The basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. What does that mean? I need to write up a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me and I've got, not got much to say thank you with. Um, you should have this. She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Ah. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I'd recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to be near the basin. Well, we got a book. <laughs> Nice. Well, I think we were pretty much done in the basin here then, right? We did everything that we had to do. And look, we even came out with this jewel encrusted band and a couple of extra fish, I suppose. While we're here, I do remember there were some things I had to collect. So I don't think it's any of these snake mackerel or the fang tooth. It's the fang tooth. And look at this. Look at what we have, the fang tooth. So I think we can actually leave Stellar Basin. We're pretty much done here. And all we need to do is go here for the fang tooth. So I will rest until the morning and then we'll set out to the fang tooth and then back to the uh, collector to provide him with one of the things that he actually needs here. Heading this way. I'll see you guys at the gold hooded figure in just a second. A few moments later. Should be right there. Whoa, what is this? I ain't never seen a fish like this before. Ghost shark. What? Huh? Is this a rare thing? I don't want to accidentally like sell it off or something. Oh, devil's spine? Oh, I've never seen this. 
Okay, it's not one of these, so. All right, here we go. I have your fish. Another sacrifice. They point at another shape on the scroll. It's a fang tooth. Here you go. They bring this small fish up to their mouth and bite at where the heart is. Their cracked lips part to reveal a row of sharpened teeth. Sense an opening. They unfurl this final scroll. This one shows a blue crab. Oh, how do I get a blue crab? Wait, what? A uh, loose straw, snailfish, anglerfish. Is it that? Two little pointy feet at the bottom, or two little round feet at the bottom. Oh my god, it is. No! I have to go back. No, we must. This is the this is the this is the last one though. This is the last one. After this, it we're actually done with the entire quest. Hold up, hold up. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. You, you know, you know what I mean? We can't pass up this opportunity. We're so close. Okay. Take my fish. It only sells for $59. That's a scam and a half, but okay. And then. Actually, we will need to purchase this, I think. Where can we catch this uh, this fish? Crab, sorry. It is in a pot and it is caught zero to 16 feet. So honestly, like literally here should be fine, right? Okay, please, please. <laughs> should I just farm other fish while I wait? I guess so. All right, YouTube, we'll be right back after we collect a, uh, a crab. I need to see what this hooded figure will offer me if we get the crab. Oh, that's a weird looking barracuda. A few minutes later. $200. Unfortunately, crab pot's still not full yet. <laughs> Should I just chill with the kraken in the middle while we wait? Watch this. This is like all of its arms. That's crazy. Oh, 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 he's red. He's not happy. Oh, he's, he's blue. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. He's not doing anything though. He's just, he's just changing colors. <laughs> he's like a uh, RGB light, our own personalized RGB light in the middle of the ocean. He's not even moving. Wait. <laughs> okay, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone, sir. Oh, our crab pot is still not full. Maybe it'll be full in the morning. Crab pot. Crab pot. No! What is it gonna take, man? Yes, yes, crab. Yes, crab, crab. Yes, blue crab, we got it. Finally. Okay, let's sell some of these fish off and then we can take this blue crab over and see what he wants for it. All right, I'm coming. I have your crab. I have a different thing to say. The game knows what I want and it gives it to me. I'm blessed. Also, well, Kraken never attacked me. I have a fishing king. They call me the, uh, um, the king of fish on the streets, on the ocean waves is what they say, actually. All right, hooded figure, what do you want? Oh, here we go. The final scroll, blue crab. They crack and bend the crab's legs apart and feast on the flesh inside. Lips still covered in crab flesh, they take a book. A book? That's it? I can't say I'm not a little bit disappointed, but I, I, I'm a little bit disappointed, I can't lie. Well, good to know. Regardless, let's uh head back and submit this ring. Not bad, that was a pretty quick section. We got the jewel encrusted band and we will be pawning it off to the collector. You walk in and place the jewel encrusted ring on the table by the collector. His eyes widen. We're certainly making excellent progress now and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction, but for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. I sure think I am, thank God. He opens the crimson book, its spine crackling, crack, blah, blah. Its spine cracking audibly, selecting a page carefully. He begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled as though he's speaking through a thick haze. Okay, well, at least they're not giving us a book this time. They're just reading it to us. 
<laughs> I don't even get the physical book anymore. I just I just have it read to me now as a reward. Oh lord. You hear a growling crackling in your ears. Suddenly your vision flares and both of your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we could find another. I can imagine all manner of detru de detrit de De detri de de detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Okay, what did you do? Banish! The banishing words will provide you a temporary protection from most things, if spoken swiftly enough. They can be used defensively. Choose your moment carefully. The more they are spoken, the more they are understood. Hmm. So we have Banish. Let me see this. Banish. Ooh. Dispel e most evils for a time. I will put that to good use. Thank you very much, Collector. Honestly, first, I'm going to pawn this off, and then it seems like we have our next destination, which is going to be the Necklace in Twisted Strand. Two areas in one episode. I'm feeding you guys today. Feeding you guys good. Okay, let me pawn these stuff off, and then we will go. Nice. You guys think I should try the banish on the Kraken? It's a- that thing's friendly though. It's never hurt us. Ooh, looks like this is our next spot. We have Twisted Strand. Yeah, we've done pretty much everything here. Stellar Basin, Gale Cliffs, the Marrow. Twisted Strand is next. Let's head that way. It is getting a little bit dark, but I think I see the next docking point. The next and only docking point, actually. Okay, what's gonna be around here? Oh! 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 Oh!
First, we need to find those lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. We'll then use that to bombard the beasts. Mm. Other planes went down to the north and east of where you are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. Uh, are there any shipwrecks around here? Mm. Shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the silt. Uh, mind suckers. Yeah. Devilish creatures through and through. They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly, screeching their terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in bloodied scratches. They must have sent me running through the foliage. Since then, I've done my best to avoid the fiends. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Okay, good to know. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough, but I've only got tags from the ones I... You must understand. I never found all their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I can add them to the tree with their brothers. Mm. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here, take this one in good faith. Hey! Oh, we get research parts for every dog tag. Okay, we'll take that, we'll take that. And then, it seems like what we need is not here, unfortunately, but good to know nonetheless, good to know. I'm actually gonna invest in, actually, what should we invest in? The twin jet engine drive doesn't look bad. I think we're pretty much done with everything else we need, so. Yeah, we'll use it here. Oh boy. So we're gonna have to go east and south to grab the borders, I suppose so. What is this? Oh, it's a... Oh, it's signs. I was following signs. I see. Pile of loose debris. It could be cleared. Ooh, ooh, there is a... Okay, you know what? I th think I actually do have some explosives. So we might be able to use this to create some sort of a shortcut and pick up that bottle there. I'll carry just two of these on me just in case, yeah. And I don't think there's actually any fish in this area either. It seems to be primarily... Oh, wait, I lied. Oh, I lied again. It's a dredging spot. Are these all dredging spots? Oh no, there is a fish. Mangrove. Mangrove. What are these fish? It's a gray mullet. Something's ricketing. And this is a gar. Ooh. <gasps> There's one of the planes. Might be able to get that here. Sergeant fish. Okay. A couple new fish here. A couple new fish. Uh, how do we get over there, though? I think we might be able to pass through here. <gasps> Where's the bottle? One of them, at least. What was that? There's another one too. Wait, there's so many bottles. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I take damage? Okay. Do not hit the mushrooms. You can't drive through those. Why are there mushrooms growing here though? Oh, wait, what? This is not the bottle? Oh, wait, no. This is one of the things we have to dredge. The mortar parts, right? There it is. Mortar barrel. And then, let me see. Ooh. It feels like years since I've been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. I've written him another letter. This will be the last. Monka. Uh, it's okay. It's getting dark. We should, we should return towards this way. Okay. We have one of the mortar pieces. That's a good find. Oh, oh. Oh, it can't sense me if I don't move, right? It's like the, the silent place, but backwards. <gasps> it's gone. Wait, there's a new type of fish. I want to get it. Oh, tarpon. Whoa, all these fish crazy okay let's head back before anything more dangerous shows up actually use the explosives why not boom that's what we set out to do anyway 
Another bottle. Ooh, what is this? Looks like a leech. Wait, it actually looks like a leech. That's a long fin eel. It's a trophy fish. Oh, I can keep it nice. Four feet, 11 inch eel. Damn. Okay. Okay, nice. We have one of the components here. I think I want to head back to the trader, actually. Yeah, I'll head back. Okay, we might be able to sell off these fish, sleep, and then head back there in the morning, yeah. Oh my god. It's so easy to get lost here. Also, that's a trap, right? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I thought I heard something. There we go. Camp here. Okay, fish market. Nice. Free 200 bucks. We'll take it. And then I think we rest, right? Until the morning, find that second mortar part. And then we blow up some, uh, some mine suckers, yeah? Okay, through that way. Should be easy enough. Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, there it is. Wait, maybe we can get it to follow us. Yeah, come here, you stupid fish. I mean, mine sucker thingy. Hello? You want some? Come get it. Uh-oh. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. I'm gonna go. Okay, should be through this way. Then it... Oh! What was that? Oh, God. Okay. And then through here... More of the gar. Uh, should be to the right? Oh god, these trees, man. So hard to see anything. <gasps> there it is. Okay. Dredge this spot up. Second half of the mortar here. Nice, mortar frame. And then all we need to do now is head back. I want to explore a little bit more around here, though. I do wonder... What is in this area? Ooh! Refined metal. Honestly, good find. I'll take it. Nice. Wait, that's a W. That's actually a W. Unfortunately, I don't think we can make it through without another explosive. So we might need to turn around here. Now we just gotta get back somehow. Uh oh. Y'all hear some? And dock it. Okay, nice. I found the parts of the mortar. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoon around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you can see I can fire on them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map. Oh boy. Is it safe? <laughs> Of course not. Have you ever, have you got everything? How do we get the mine suckers into the traps? They're attracted to some very specific types of bait. Have you got every, wait, what type of bait? We need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Uh, this one takes three fish from the area. Oh, God dang it. I don't have the, all the fish for the bait. Come back when you've got the rest. Catfish of some sort, I think. Ooh, okay. Oh, man. Oh, we put the bait in the traps. I see, I see. Well, what does this message say? Gold son and Goldsmith and Son received the sum of $50 in exchange for one silver necklace. Oh, wait, is this the necklace that we need? Looks like we're going to have to catch a couple of fish, though. This is mangrove... Nighttime. Honestly, should we just go around and just <laughs> catch as many fish as we can? That might be the answer. Because this is the first trap already. Honestly, you might as well. Oh, thought I heard something. Am I going crazy? I want to drop off this refined metal, though, to be honest. Let's do that first. Yeah, that glowing manta ray, I still have no idea what that is, though. That's one. Yeah, I don't want to go out there, man. That thing, that thing's out for me. It, it won't let me leave. It knows, it knows I'm here. So do the mind suckers. Oh. 
Just don't move. Just don't move. And it's gone. There's another type of fish, the tarpon. I think it's also one of them that he needed. We'll just catch as many as we can, honestly. Maybe we'll just get another gray mullet. Ooh, entwined mullet. That's a, uh, that's a new one. Uh, let's go drop these fish off. No! I lost it! No! I, I hate, I hate everything. I hate everything. Whoa. Twin eels. I don't have space though. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I can't believe I lost the fish, man. Okay, uh, it does need the gray mullet, I think. Yep. Which is good. And then this seems to be... I don't even know what that is. Wait for the second one. Another gray mullet. And it needs the catfish, too. And then last one. Seems to be two of these. Oh, I don't want to... No, I don't want to. No, 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 no. Let's just uh, let's just catch one of them separately. I can't. I can't be giving up my special rare specimen for some bait. Like, 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 like these are mine suckers. You know what I mean? They don't need to eat good fish. They could eat. They'll. They'll eat whatever that moves, right? I, I sell this for profit. It's. It's free money. Uh, fish market. Here we go. Oh, think about how much more that could have been if I just didn't. Hit that stupid thing there. Okay, and then honestly, I'll just rest too. All right, let's catch a couple more fish here. Uh, it, I believe it was like a, a catfish, right? Also, did it? Did did he need one of these? I can't remember. Y'all hear some? Oh boy. Oh, I think it was one of these ones. Okay, this should be it. The gar, this throws me, this takes me back, man. I used to watch a lot of uh, River Monsters. I don't know if anyone knows that show, but it was it was one of my favorites. I used to watch it all the time as a kid. Jeremy Wade. I can't believe that was his name. That's such a, that, that's like fate, you know what I mean? But I, I remember all these fish from when he used to, when he used to uh, host the show and stuff. I think the bait for the first one? Yes, it is. The gar, here we go. Nice. Pungent bait. This is for the first one. Uh, the second one, we need this catfish of sorts. Only thing we need now is the catfish. I don't even know where that's going to be. Okay, seems like we need to put the bait over here. Oh, man. Okay. First things first, let's go buy a couple more explosive. Just don't cr No! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! No. Don't do that to me. Dude, I keep hitting this stupid logs, man. A, like literally a slight bump and, and it's like I'm dead. Oh my lord. Okay. Mm. Fix my ship. Take my money. And then I think I'm going to try to buy. Oh, they don't sell explosives here. Oh, maybe. Maybe actually. Oh, they do. Nice. 36 bucks. And then let's put the bait wherever it has to go here. So I think I might be able to take a shortcut to the right. Not really a shortcut, but path to the right. Yeah. Is that catfish? Oh God, that thing is so freaky, man. Like, look at him. It's a brain sucker. Where can we find this catfish? I should check the encyclopedia. Oh, here it is. Uh, nighttime. Okay, seems like we're not going to have much luck here, but uh, this should be the place that we uh, put the bait at. Oh, yeah, here it is. <gasps> oh, hello. You were waiting for me, man. You were. Uh-oh. 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 No! Just stay still. Just stay still. Just stay still. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, put the bait in. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Oh 
my god. Oh! What the? Bro, where did that come from? Oh, man. Inside is the obliterated corpse of a mind sucker. The airman will be expecting proof of your success. Oh, God. Also, we, we took so much damage for no reason, too. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Why did we do that? Oh, God. Okay. Holy. That's something, all right. Ruby earrings. Oh, maybe we could even get some catfish now that it's nighttime. Ooh, is, this, is this catfish? No. We do need this, though, so... It doesn't hurt. I think we need two of these. We'll blow through here. Nice. And then... Tarpon. Uh-oh. What was that? Wait. What? I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I wasn't crazy. I I thought there was an opening here, but Okay, let's just get out. <gasps> it's the catfish. Oh god, this thing's big. Uh-oh. The forest is alive. Like actually. And it's caging me in. That's not good. I need to sleep. Oh. Uh this way. Just gotta get back around. And we're fine. That's not good either. Okay, just a regular catfish. Go through here. Don't hit anything this time. And we should be fine. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. I think we have everything that we need now. Let's do this. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knives, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Here is the catfish for the second one. That should do it. There it is. Vetted bait. And then last one. Two eels. There you go. Reeking bait. All right. This is this is the final countdown here. We just got to put these baits uh, there and there, and we should be good. Let's rest until the morning, and then we can go take down some mine suckers. I'm gonna go repair my ship first before I take on anything because I I damaged it quite badly in the last encounter. But <laughs> repair me, thank you. All right, here we go. Let's take down some mine suckers. Are you ready? Place the bait. I see it. It's right there. It's coming. Hello. Yeah, take that thing. Come on. Yep. Yep. Boom. Artillery strike. Oh my god. That's another one down. And here's the corpse. All we need to do is get that last one. Oh, right there. I see it. There's the mind sucker too. Put the bait in. Here we go. Last one. For our brethren. Yes. I can't believe he handmade these. That's that's insane. And boom. Third and final mind sucker. Take that. That should be everything done then. And all that's left to do is to report back our success. And hopefully he'll have a necklace in return for us. You know what I mean? I have a creature to show you. Flesh on the ground. There we go. Another one. One remains. 
He dropped a large bloodied carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away before the blade, re revealing a glint of metal. With sickening terror, he wrests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. You recognize it as a necklace. <laughs> well, fisherman, some fortune at last. This ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. Why don't you take it? The shimmering necklace, and we have it. It's the last thing we needed here. And now, well, that's that, I suppose. Hmm? What will you do now? Hmm. I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this has become somewhat of a home to me. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make up some special bait for you. It ought to help with your fishing. Woo! Hmm. Oh, mixed bait. Oh, nice. We could toss bait overboard to attract lo local hmm. specialties. That's a W. I think it's pretty much all we needed, right? We caught almost everything here. We got the necklace, and all that's left is the watch after this. Well, well, well. Look at that progress. Look at that progress. I think as well, this is a good time to leave today's episode off because guess what? We only have one more area to explore and one more item to find before we are completely done with the game. So I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough of Dredge so far. It's definitely a very exciting game and the next episode will probably be the last as well. So please do let me know if you're enjoying this content. Let me know if there's any other games that you would like to see me try after we finish Dredge. And of course, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate all the support. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos, playing these games uh, with you guys and for you guys to watch. And I hope you guys are enjoying them as well. So if you do like the series and the channel, please do consider liking the video, subscribing, or joining us on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Anthony Chen. It definitely does help me out a lot, and I appreciate it as always, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Dredge. Take care, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Stay safe.